Testing. One, two, three. Testing. Hey guys, Terry here. And today I've got a very cool tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to build one of these. It's called a Kentucky Folding Stick Chair. Very eye-catching and pretty easy to make. This was the first one I made and the second one. The first one I made, I used only two two by fours to make the whole thing. I ripped each one into thirds. Problem with that is they ended up a little bit too narrow. Chair's a little bit narrow for me. So the next build, I used two by twos, which eliminated the need to rip lengthwise and just use two by twos, but that made the chair way too wide. So to get the width back down to fairly normal, I took these connector pieces which were also two by two, and I trimmed those down to one inch wide, and that brought the width down, but it kind of makes it look asymmetrical. I'm hoping the third build will be the charm. Today, I'm gonna use three two by threes, eight foot long each. Of course, two by threes are actually one and a half by two and a half. But the nice thing about using a two by three is that I only have to cut one time down the middle, and I will end up with two pieces that are just around one and three sixteenths inch wide versus the first chair, which were just barely over an inch wide. So this will give us about an inch and a half more width, making it just about perfect. To do the cutting, I got myself a little Craftsman Evolve table saw. It works really well. And I set up a little outfeed table here because I'm gonna rip these at full length so that they won't fall as they exit the table. They'll have support. Once I have them ripped, I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners because there'll be a square corner after they're cut. So I'm gonna round those off so it'll have a nice look. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish with probably a polyurethane or something before I cut them all to length. Once they're cut, they're gonna be 25 separate pieces of various lengths. So I figured it'd be a lot more practical and easier to get all this prep work done before I cut them into pieces. There are the first two pieces right down the middle. Beautiful cut. Okay, now that I got all six pieces cut, it's time to round them over. Got a really cool little trim router here with the round over bit in there. Only 29 bucks at Harbor Freight Tool and it does a great job. So we're gonna go ahead and run it along the two square edges. The other two are already rounded. And that is a pretty nice result. I've got all the six pieces nice and smoothed out and I'm ready to apply finish I think I'm going to use Danish oil, which is actually a mix, a combination of varnish and tongue oil. And it's great because you really only need to apply it once. You can apply it with a rag or a brush. It's super easy to apply. It soaks into the wood so it'll protect it. Wow, that is beautiful. Really came out nice. Now we're gonna let this dry or cure or whatever it does. Next thing we do is cut them to size, drill them, and put the whole thing together. That's gonna be the fun part. So here are all 25 finished pieces, cut, sanded, and drilled, and ready to put together. And now we put together the seat pieces. Those are the 15 inch pieces, there's six of those. And all of our connectors, those are nine and one eighth inches. And our back legs, which are the 35 inches. And we're gonna put a threaded rod through here and one through there, and then we're gonna lay this on top of the back piece. So we lay the front seat and we line up the holes for the connectors that go on the bottom. Okay, so let's stand it up. Oh yeah, that's awesome. To complete it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna push these together like that. Oops and the bottom ones also together. 
just like that. We'll tighten up the bolts and we'll cut off the excess.